Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Leo. This is going to be for your September 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look at a person that you're dealing with, thinking of, separated from. We're going to see what this person wants from you, okay? This could be with new love, current love, an ex. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Also keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, tell about Leo. Tell about Leo in love. The person that Leo is dealing with, thinking of, separated from. What does this person want from Leo? What does this person want from Leo? The moon, the wheel of fortune. If there has been secrets here, there are secrets that are coming up to the surface here. Keep in mind, you guys, secrets and lies don't stay hidden for a long time. It always has a way of coming up to the surface here. And I feel like in this situation, somebody here has been hiding something here from you. Ah, oh, they've been hiding their feelings here towards you. Yeah. I feel like what's coming up for this individual of what they've been hiding is that this person is in love with you and that this person sees you as their commitment here. They want to commit to you. This person's loyalty here. Okay. And I feel like this person is realizing that you guys are destined to be together here. It's This is like a faded connection. This is a faded uh, soulmate connection here. We have the chariot, cancer, energy. So one of the things I'm getting here with the chariot here and the devil, interesting. This connection could be moving in the right direction here, okay? You know, one of the things I feel like this could be a faded connection because I feel like there could be a lesson for you to learn in this relationship here. I'm getting a bit of a karmic energy here, okay? I do feel like, you know, you might be stepping into a toxic relationship here that you might not be aware of here, that this person's hiding behind a mask. Tell me about this devil card. Devil card, Capricorn energy, the chariot here. So the devil and the ten of pentacles. Tell me about the chariot here. Oh shoot, that's a, too many. The chariot and also the four swords here. Mm. I feel like what you don't see coming in this situation here is that this person is a toxic individual. Like I said, this could be a karmic situation that you could be stepping into. This is definitely a faded connection, but like I said, there is a lesson for you to learn in this relationship here and in this connection that you might be stepping into. I mean, some of you guys could be currently in this right now, but you know, it could be a situation that this person just wants to control you. You know, uh, Page of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, whoever this is, I feel like this person is basically studying you, learning about you. And I feel like whatever you like, this person likes to. You know, whatever you like to do, this person likes to do it too. Okay? With a page of swords here, tell me about the two of cups. Two of cups and the five of pentacles. Yeah. This is something that you don't see coming here. Yeah, this is something that you don't really see coming here. This person definitely has some, some like dark hidden agendas here. The Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Sometimes this Queen of Swords here, you know, this Queen of Swords is very intelligent. This Queen of Swords has been through a lot. You know, this, uh, this Queen of Swords, you know, is uh, someone who, who is fair, who's a planner here. But, you know, in its low vibing energy, this Queen of Swords could be a complete BI, you know. So tell me about the Moon card here. And the Hangman. Piscean energy. Trust your intuition here. If your body is telling you that there's something off about the situation here, trust it. I mean, some of you guys could be feeling like this person is making you feel very, 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 very good. But I feel like this is a faded connection where I feel like you're learning or you have to learn a lesson in this connection here, in this relationship. 
I just feel like you just don't see this coming. Yeah, with the moon card here. Let's see what else we have. What else do we have for Leo? What else does Leo need to know? Look out for work on when it comes to this love connection for Leo. We have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have the Seven of Wands here. Okay. We have the full Aries energy and the Seven of Swords. Wow. <clears throat> this person does not have your best interests at heart here. This person lies. This person is not committal here. This person is very emotionally immature here. Okay. I do feel like this is a like a newer situation that you're stepping into here, uh, Leo. We have the Knight of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person will do the right things. This person will stay, say the right things. This person will, will basically love bomb you here. But what you don't see coming is that this person is a bit of a nightmare. This person's a bit of a horror show here. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Eight of Wands here. What? Uh, tell me about the Page of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. This person is going to shower you with gifts. This person is going to be very romantic. You know, this person is going to say all the right things here. This person is definitely going to offer you some sort of commitment here. Some of the Seven of Wands here. And I feel like this person will be very persistent, very insistent. And I feel like this person could be very pushy here. Okay? So we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Judgment card. You know, I feel like your guides and your angels and your ancestors are trying to protect you from this person. Yeah. Like I said, I feel like if you guys are seeing red flags here, don't ignore it here. Ace of Wands and the Fool card. Tell me the Seven of Swords. Yeah, just be careful here because I feel like some of you guys could be, you know, so this person might want to sleep with you initially once you, got, once you guys meet. Okay? And it, it's interesting because I feel like this person might even confuse you here too. Yeah, this person might push your boundaries here. I hate to say it, but I feel like this person might like spite, like, you know, kind of like put some something in someone's drink here and take advantage of somebody here. And you won't even realize it moving forward, you know, or this could have already happened. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. And the tap, yeah, you definitely are not going to see this coming here because I do feel like this person is very kind, very sweet, you know, very empathetic. You know, I feel like this, this, this is coming off a bit of like a kind of like a hidden, like a covert narcissistic individual here. You just are, you're not seeing this person, you know, for who they are. They're, they're definitely hiding behind their kindness, you know, but I do feel like this person definitely has you know, a very dark side to them here with the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy, and the Knight of Cups, and the Four of Wands here, and also the Ace, yeah, I do, I do feel like this is a newer person that's coming into your life here. With the Ace of Cups, okay, this is new love. I feel like you're gonna have an instant connection with this individual. Like I said, this person's gonna say all the right things and do the right things here, but what you don't see coming is that this person has a dark side. They're gonna they're gonna wanna control you here. They're gonna, they're gonna wanna make you do things that you don't want to do. You know, I feel like this person will be sneaking and do things behind your back here and basically hurt you here, okay? So just be careful with this individual here with the Nine of Wands. And the Sun. This is actually a very, very, very fragile, wounded individual. This person comes off as someone here who's very happy, very happy-go-lucky, you know, nothing's wrong, their life is going great, their life is amazing here. But, you know, I do feel like it's being, they're, it, they're hiding behind a the facade. They're hiding behind a facade here with the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Five of Wands here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here moving forward, I feel like you're a very grounded, level-headed individual here. But I feel like this person will try and pick fights here with you. Yeah, there's a lot of red flags here, Leo, when it comes to this person. Okay, so just be careful with this person, Leo. So Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. 
hit the notification bell and I'll speak to you guys in the next one, all right? Thanks guys, bye.